Sydney Anderson, how much for the title can I just have? Um, so I'm so excited about this process and what it's going to mean to the city and what it's going to do for your economic development staff and everybody. Um, for context today, I want to say that shock, has everybody enjoyed seeing our shock and squad, our, our branding, the, all the shock? Has everybody made the best shock place in the right place? Love it. We're going to get photos of that. We're going to hashtag those all over the place. We're going to love it. So for context today, we want to say that in this event, it's a positive event. It's a good shock. It's a great shock. So would it surprise you or shock you to know that in the past four weeks, five retail businesses have opened up downtown? Um, to a friend's community who are going to be involved in 
this process at every step of the way, along with the with city economic development officials and with our um, design firm, who we're going to talk to you about in a minute. I want to have equipment to introduce those folks if you're way our um, creative consultant. Sharon Jones, Scott Foster Heavenly, Diane Sims, Joshua Davis, Diane Lee, Lauren James, um, Noah Taylor, <coughs> and Melissa Pat. So we're very excited to have y'all with us. Um, and with no further ado, I would like to thank our council and our administration, especially our council for being visionary to allow us to kind of go off on this sort of wacky um, path that we believe can build something really great and really sustainable and really creative for our downtown. And I think our council members that are here, Mayor, Jeff, you're here, and Jeff Roberts is here, and Jeff Roberts. Any other council members? Okay, thanks to y'all, and thanks to y'all. And with that, we'll turn it over to Tom. Thank you all again for being here tonight. I want to, um, before we get started, I want to share with you two things. One is, we've been planning this for a while. Um, y'all have seen the uh, promotion for it, and Obviously, y'all are here because of that. Um, but I asked Kimberly and her staff, Mary Haley, how many folks are going to be at this meeting tonight? And they said, probably 50. Well, my quick informal count was about 100. That's awesome. That's great. I think that bodes well for the rest of this process. The other thing, shock this block. They've explained that to you, um, generally what we're looking at. It's a downtown Anderson master plan. I'll go into a little bit more detail about this, but one thing that's critical to understand about this is this is a downtown master plan, but it's really a continuation of your downtown master plan, your downtown visioning that you've been doing for at least two decades. Many of our team members have actually had the pleasure of working on various downtown projects here in the past. But a downtown master plan, the successful communities that who, who have revitalized their downtowns, it's not a one and done deal. You all have realized that. You all have built a vision beginning at least in 1992. Um, there was a vision created in downtown leading through uh, 1996 downtown master plan, various updates and various um, other projects focused on downtown leading us to today. So, this is a continuation of that long-term vision. I can tell you, um, you all live here in this community. We have the benefit of being outsiders and coming in. But we're also connected to this community. I'm in Greenville. Uh, many of our other uh, team members are close by. And as I mentioned, we have, have, uh, have worked here in the past. Um, I can tell you that this vision that y'all created beginning in 92 and all those different uh, iterations leading up today, Anderson is known as a success story in taking that vision and systematically accomplishing things and having these great, wonderful success stories here in this community. So again, as we go through this plan, certainly as we talk about this tonight, keep in mind that this is a living, breathing animal that you all have been working on long before you all ever contracted with us. So, with that, what I want to do tonight is I want to share with you very briefly what we're going to accomplish throughout the course of this process, go over a little bit about the process itself, but really the bulk of this meeting is for us to hear from you. We've got two exercises um, that, that we'd like to get your, uh, your thoughts in about what our focus should be. Um, about your, uh, your, your, your thoughts about the character of downtown, as well as what are some of our needs um, that you see for us moving forward. We started this project um, today at 10 o'clock. This meeting is, and, and, and this day today and tomorrow is 100% orientation for us, reconnaissance from us, our initial public input touch point with you all. So we don't have anything cooked up. The sky's the limit right now. Um, so with that, let me go into uh, the process. So there's four firms on this. Arnett Muldrow and Associates, Aaron Arnett here. Um, we are leading the project. Our focus is with planning, 
um, and with downtown development and economic development, and that's our role here as part of this project. Uh, and I'm gonna get folks to raise their hand. Um, community Design Solutions, Randy Wilson over there. Uh, Randy's firm is a design firm uh, based out of Columbia, and he's gonna be focused on um, the sort of cre the, the placemaking, even though he doesn't like that term, in downtown. He's gonna focus on looking at some of um, the sort of the architectural vision within downtown. He, he brings an architectural discipline to this. Then we've got Ran uh, Mahan Reichland Associates. That's Andy Kalbach, which is back there in the room. Uh, Mahan Reichel is an urban design firm, full service planning urban design firm based out of Baltimore, Maryland. And um, they are really focusing on those elements of it, urban design. Then we've got Site Desi Design Inc. We've got Andy Sherrod in the room and then Allison Brandt also in the room. And they're an engineering firm that's gonna help us look at really these design issues, but in context with infrastructure and engineering and all of that. So that's our team. So now, what are we gonna do? There's multiple different layers to this process. Community input, I've already talked about that a little bit tonight. We're looking at this whole process is trying to think of the most creative ways that we can engage with you all. This meeting tonight is our first touch point with the community, with the residents of the community. We're gonna have a number of different ways that we engage with you all moving forward. Um, there's gonna be various town meetings like this over the course of this process. Um, we will have one-on-one -on -one uh, stakeholder meetings with some individual people that are stakeholders in the community. We're going to have a number of different online tools and digital tools for us to engage with you all, one of which is going to happen in about five minutes. Um, and then we're also using those creative consultants to help really real time throughout the course of this project, um, you know, continue to garner that, that input and that creative input from you all. I say this to say that community input is the most important part of this process. This is your plan. This is not our plan. We need to hear from you on, on what your needs are, what your desires are, what the challenges are, what the opportunities are, um, in order for us to be able to good, do a good job for you with this downtown master plan and the shot and the spot plan. It starts with research and data. We like to say that the work we do is market-based master plans. So, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to see these great, wonderful, illustrative drawings. You're going to be able to see these great concepts of new development and, and, and new opportunities for great spaces and in your community. But it all starts with data. So we're going to be doing a comprehensive market analysis for your downtown. We're going to be looking at, okay, what is our consumer market, first and foremost? Um, who are our customers? Okay, based on that, what are our trade areas? What is our geographic market that our downtown is relevant to today? From that ge those geographic boundaries, we're really gonna get into the data side of things. So we're gonna look at um, retail opportunities, retail demand. We're gonna look at residential demand. I know that that's something that's important in this downtown and other, other downtowns as well is bringing in residential into your community. So we're gonna look at that. We're gonna provide data for, okay, here's the realistic opportunity for, for that based off of the market. We're gonna look at office um, and other non-commercial type of uses and, and see what opportunities there are for that um, in our downtown. And then there's also looking at mixed use. Um, so where within our downtown, where within these, these focus areas within our downtown can we look at directing some growth and in development or enhancements based off of what our market holds. This data happens first. It's going to start tomorrow um, and it is going to help inform the rest of the creative process. So the rest of the creative process. There's urban design. That's, you know, when we think about downtown master plans, we think about drawings, we think about renderings, we think about all of that. And that's certainly what we're gonna look at here. Um, we're gonna look at gateways into our downtown. Um, we're gonna look at gateway corridors. We're gonna look at some of these key um, opportunity blocks as gateways within our downtown as well. We're gonna look at streetscape. 
you've got beautiful streetscape in your downtown already, so we'll look at, okay, we'll assess that and maybe see ways to where we can expand that, grow and enhance it, but also really look at ways that we can connect the dots. You've got great places in your downtown. It might be a cluster of really active businesses, or it might be a great public space like Carolina Wren Park, or maybe it's things outside of your downtown like um, Anderson University five, six blocks away, that's important as a market to your downtown. It's incredibly relevant. So we'll look at, look at connecting those dots in downtown as well as maybe enhancing our connections to areas outside of downtown. So again, we'll look at architecture. We'll look at um, public spaces. We will be looking at really with our creative, um, our creative consultants. Well, maybe there's some opportunities for us to, to infuse some more public art that we have like you all have great public art here in the community as well. Um, so that'll be a piece of it as well. Um, and, and, and all of that is part of that urban design. We're gonna look at parking too, by the way, because um, I know that's always a, a, an important thing in a downtown. Creative placemaking, again, I've alluded to this, but again, this is where we look at, are there opportunities for us to create great public spaces that may be active spa spaces where people can come and congregate and share and enjoy our downtown. And maybe part of that is, is, is adding some color and activity and vibrancy into those creative places. Or perhaps it's looking at opportunities for additional public art within our community. So that's an element of it as well. And then all plans, really, it's focused on implementation. I can tell you this team, this team, incidentally, of all the, the four firms that, that are, are on this team, we work all over the country. Um, I'm based out of Greenville. SDI is based out of Greenville. Randy's in Columbia, and, and uh, Andy's in um, Baltimore. But we work as a team all over the country as well. Even though most of us are local, we work all over together. This is our dream team for a master plan like this. Um, and our dream team is always focused on that realistic implementation. So that's going to be a big component of this. So that's really the end goal is what is our vision, what are those opportunities, and then how do we get it accomplished? So process, project kickoff. Well, here we go. We're in project kickoff right now. Um, the various blue places that you see here are touch points that we're having directly with you all, but there's going to be others as well. So project kickoff comes first. This is actually out of order. Actually, no, it's not. Project kickoff comes first. Physical assessment and that recon of your downtown, seeing um, you know, what we need to be thinking about when we're talking about this physical design, that's happening next. Then we're going right into that downtown market analysis. From that, from all this data that we've been compiling, from all this interaction that we've been having with the community, we're going to lead, that's going to lead us into really the big meat of public in interaction, and that's um, an urban design charrette. That's where we're continuing to get that input, creative input, we're, but we're also trying to produce some product and take your input and translate that into what uh, that, that urban design vision might be. That is TBD at this point. You're going to hear um, very soon when that date is going to be and you're going to be asked to be back, um, invited back to that. Then from there, we develop the draft master plan, get additional input from you all. Then from that input, we develop our final master plan. That's it on one page in a nutshell. This is about a nine month long process starting today. So set the clocks, that's, that's where we are. So that's what we're doing, but now it's your turn. For the rest of the meeting, I have two exercises that, that I'm gonna ask you all to do. Um, the first one is very interactive, and it might be something that, that, that may be different from what y'all have done in the past. Um, and it's the first time we've done this in a room this size, so bear with us. So we're going to do some live polling with you all. So what I'd like for you all to do, those of you who have a phone, All right, 
And so we'll give you all a couple of minutes here to um, get, in, get into this. So, so poll the, the website on your phone. O open up Safari or Google Chrome or, or whatever it is that you have and go to pollev.com slash shock this block. And don't do anything else other than that because the survey might pop up. Don't, an don't get ahead of me and answer the questions yet. So um, there's not a password for this. The password for We won't start just yet, but who's already connected to it? All right, about, about a half the room. We'll give it another minute or so. So, so P-O-L-L-E-V dot com slash shock this block. All right, in a minute, we're going to turn it live, and I'm going to ask some questions. Who's, who's connected to the site? All right, we're, we're about there. I will tell you, this is not going to be perfect. Um, some of you may not get connected. If you're having a hard time getting connected, hit refresh on your um, browser, and hopefully it will get you to where you need to be. Um, but I know that there, there'll be a few folks that, that slip through the cracks and y'all can go to our partners. All right, Sean, it looks like people are already entering in information. Is that all right? That's okay. Sean, go to, and you can change this. Sean, go hit next. All right. Y'all, I knew there's always e e uh, eager beavers in the room. So my first question for you all is, we've talked about what we're doing here. What do you all think should be our primary focus of this downtown master plan? Is it targeting new businesses and bringing it into downtown? Is it creating great public spaces in downtown? Is it integrating the arts into downtown through public art and activity? Is it creating new or enhanced parking opportunities? Is it recruiting mixed use development to come into downtown and it includes retail and residential and office? Is it recruiting residential specifically into downtown? We didn't expect this many people to be here, so you might, once we get the maximum amount of people, you might end up getting blocked out, but that should only happen on this particular one. That Good question. What if you want all of these? Well, I can tell you we're going to look at all of these as part of this, but we're just trying to gauge the temperature and say, what's most important to us? All of this is important, but what's most important to us? All right, so, well, the poll's full, so I see that. So what we see here, the two ones that um, hit the most are recruiting that mixed-use type development into our downtown, Targeting new businesses to locate in downtown. That's great. That's awesome. All right, the next question. Next question is, what word, uh, some more eager beavers already out there, what word would you use to describe downtown Anderson today? The character of downtown Anderson today, what one word would you use to describe? And just, if you don't mind, there's so many people in the room, just answer this once. We're limited to 100 responses. Um, so just do it once. So growing and improving, um, I see that as an outsider, um, someone who's been plugged in and out of Anderson over the years. Incidentally, my first experience in 
Anderson. I was born at that hospital down the road from you, a few blocks from here. This is great. Potential, growing, evolving, improving. You know, you do see some challenge things in there. Boring, we see that a lot in our downtowns. <laughs> Fragmented, you know, I think, that, I think there's a lot to that comment about, connect, again, connecting these great places that you have um, in the community. Underused, fresh, alive, quaint, art, fun. This is, this is great information. All right, in the interest of time, we're going to keep moving this along. Another word wall one. Sean, go to the next one, please. I'm sitting here trying to advance this, and Sean's working it. All right, what is your favorite place in downtown? It might be a business. It might be a park bench. It might be, um, you know, it might be just an intersection. Your favorite place in downtown. We asked this earlier today. We were doing a dry, dry run, and I won't call this person out. It was a staff member with the city. Their favorite place in downtown was work. That was, which was interesting. So, um, so Carolina Wren Park, what an awesome place that that is in your community. I've never been to an event there, but I want to. I've seen pictures of it. It's just an amazing place. Sullivan's, Sullivan's is, is awesome. I know it's been around for a while. We ate there again at lunch today. Blackley Inn, some of Joe's. Somebody put a smiley face. <laughs> and we actually, we, we, we were going to allow this to do emojis. Somebody creatively got around that by doing the colon in the um, parentheses, but uh, we, we blocked those. So. We also blocked bad words, too. So um. Awesome. This is really cool. All of this information, incidentally, you know, it's randomly popping up there. We're gonna be, this is going to be data that we're going to sort of distill and use to help us with this. So the cool thing for me as a data guy, data geek, is all this turns into wonderful spreadsheets. So I'll, I'm going to have fun with this later. All right, awesome. Let's go to the next one. Again, another open-ended one. What types of businesses are needed in our downtown? It could be a chain. It could be a spe specific type of business. We can get more specific than retail. What kind of retail? Corporate, grocery, bars. Healthy, health foods, healthy businesses, bakery. Corporate headquarters, I've uh, read an article about some of that happening here very recently. That's, that's pretty exciting. Flowers, art, somebody said none, it must be great for you all already. There's, there's nothing else that we can do to improve on it. Teen uses, the, Trader Joe's, that comes up in every community that, <laughs> that, that we work in. It's, it's, it's such a great place. In fact, there's probably, well, I'm not going to cook the books, but there's another one that uh, comes up quite frequently, particularly when, this, when, when we're in this area. So corporate, grocery, retail, bakery, those are the ones that are really the, the key ones that folks are talking about right now. Awesome. Let's go to the next one. Still trying to advance with this. And All right. What types of amenities or activities are needed in downtown? Now, this is a little bit different. It might be pedestrian enhancements. It might be, you know what, we need better street furniture. Or it might be, um, you know, we need bike lanes. Um, we need another event space, a venue. No, this one, don't talk about businesses. Think about other types of activities or amenities that we need in downtown today. Music venue, that came up a lot in our um, focus, or focus groups, our one-on-ones we had today. Entrepreneurs. I'm looking forward to tomorrow morning, we're going to be meeting in here. Well, I'm going to be a fly on the wall, but y'all are going to be meeting in here with the One Million Cups group. Um, and I've heard a lot about the energy of that, and that's a pretty cool way to grow those entrepreneurial assets that you have in a community. Workout stations, I, I wouldn't have put that one on there. I need to. Comma, 
okay? Walkable. Bike lanes to downtown and around. I mean, what a great way to connect to, um, to Anderson University. I still want to say Anderson College, Anderson University. Incidentally, one of those larger plans or a couple of those larger plans that y'all have done in your community, not just in downtown, is, um, and I'm going to get the names wrong, but you've looked at these bikeways, you've looked at these trail connections. All of that information, all of those plans are input into our process. Bike racks, path to AU, safety, educational opportunities. All right, go to the next one. All right, don't click anything just yet. All right, these next series are one of ones are what we call visual preference surveys, and they're intended to be general. They're intended to not be so. Don't really focus on what the image is. Focus on the character of that image. So for these next series of slides, what I want to know from you all is what type of thing image that you're seeing here and on your phones do you think meets the character of what we want to grow in downtown? The first one, visual preference, mixed use. We've got a, and, and this isn't going to show until a second when I tell Sean to show it. Um, you know, we've got some pretty significant substantial mixed use development. We've got some smaller um, scale uh, development. We've got some contemporary type of mixed use development. We've got some historic type of mixed use development. Now that might not be what you read into these, and that's fine. There's no real right answer to this. So pick one. What's your preference? All right, here's what we got. Sean's going to show the results. So a lot of the folks in the room really like that historic mixed-use development that you have in, in your downtown. All right, let's go to the next one, Sean. All right, art in public places is the next one. Again, you've, you've got numerous art installations from sculpture to parks to temporary installations. And for time, I'm going to go a little bit faster because we're, we're getting behind right now. So, Sean, share with us what these results happen to be. See, I knew if I put an image of, a, of art in your downtown, that's what folks would uh, go to. And what a great piece of art it is. We're going to be asking these very similar questions in our online survey. So, you know, you're going to have another opportunity to respond to these very specific things. All right, Sean. All right, public spaces, maybe active business spaces like a market, maybe it's um, temporary installations that we can bring families into our community, maybe it's more planned and programmed installations like your Carolina Wren Park, or maybe it's you know, active spaces that might be able to take some impromptu type of activity in your downtown. Now again, I don't want to influence you all, but these, this is my two daughters right there, so. Um. <laughs> it's funny, but what you do see up there is the active spaces, more active spaces. Um, I mean, all of these are active spaces, um, but those are the ones that come up. All right, Sean, next one. Businesses, again, there's a million different businesses. These are, these are for grocery retail or grocery clothing, outfit or bike, and gallery. You can't maybe not be able to see the gallery that great, but all these are types of retail businesses that you might have in a downtown. I know there's loads of others, but for these, what, what speaks to you the most about being right for downtown Anderson? Grocery, produce. All right, Sean, let's go to the next one. Restaurants, same question, restaurants. 
breakfast, bakery, outdoor dining, wine shops. You know, again, there's a million different other types of restaurants, but what speaks to you most in this visual preference survey? Outdoor dining. You know, that's great because that really does activate a space. That activates our downtown. It's not just about business. It's about creating activity in our downtown. And I had a conversation with a retailer earlier today talking about his particular business and how the restaurants that have opened up around him have really improved his business that he has in that block. Next one, Sean. Parking. Everybody loves parking. We got a deck. We've got on street parking next to pedestrian areas. We've got a landscape, nicely landscaped surface parking lot, and then we have kind of managed parking situations like two hour limits. It doesn't have to necessarily be that. It could be, you know, managing your parking resources in general. But again, what speaks to you? What's most important when we think about parking here in this community? So surface parking, nice landscape surface parking, followed closely by deck parking. Awesome. Sean? Pedestrian amenities, and again, all over the map, but artistic looking street furniture, maybe stamped and created in colorful um, crosswalks. Maybe just street furniture that helps um, you know, bring that outdoor activity and, and dining into our downtown. Or maybe it's designated crosswalks and pedestrian amenities that we might have at a gateway or at a key intersection. Some of our pedestrian needs. What's most important? So getting across the street, very important here. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? All right, last one, I think. We're doing a master plan. We're starting a day, nine months. If we do just one thing, if, this, if we accomplish one thing, what is that one accomplishment or that one change you want to see come out of this plan? Security. You, on this one, you can do a phrase for sure. Green space. We will be making, Wayfinder, somebody mentioned, we are absolutely going to be making some recommendations on how you can communicate your assets better in your community, like where is our parking deck or where, are, where is uh, Carolina Wren Park, those sorts of things. Density, walkability. Consistent architecture, leadership. More residential, clean up rail cut. You know, you've got such an interesting situation in your downtown. You know, Sean, uh, my coworker lives, grew up in Greenwood partially, and Greenwood has a railroad line that goes right down the middle of their downtown. Well, how many places have one that goes right through the center of their downtown perpendicularly, and then it happens to go under buildings underneath it. So I've ne we work all over the place. I've never seen that before. All right. This is great. And like I said, this is, this is going to be help for us from a data standpoint, but you're going to have other opportunities as we move through this process to give us additional information. So Sean, if you would, um, if you would go ahead and uh, hit next. And then, um, can then uh, minimize that and un unclick activate, and then change it back to the presentation. All right. Now I can use my clicker again.
Thank you. Was that fun? Did y'all have fun? Actually, I was worried about how well it would work, and it worked pretty doggone well, so thank you so much. All right, the next thing that we're going to do for the, the rest of the meeting, we're a little bit over time, um, and I apologize for that, is we're going to do breakouts. There are six, there's, yeah, there, there's just one back there. There's six tables here. There's one, there's two back there. There's two tables back in the back. We must have found that eighth map. Um, two tables back in the back. What I want everybody to do when I say go, you're eager beavers in here, um, is I want you to find a table close by or in the back room. And I want you to think about downtown and the context of downtown and think about it from a, from a spatial standpoint. Um, and we just want general ideas, general thoughts on you about focus and opportunities. Um, at this point, don't worry too much about our specific blocks. Um, certainly your comments can be in context with that, but those things may change as we go throughout this process. We're really thinking about downtown in general. So, when I say go, I want you to go to those rooms, or go to those maps, and we're going to have to, everybody's going to have to be patient with us, I think, because this is more people than we thought, so there's going to be a lot of conversations going back and forth. We might need to make sure that um, everybody's talking directly and loudly at their table, but at the table, there's these prompts. And what I want you all to do, there's going to be a facilitator at each table. I want you all to spend about two to three minutes on each one of these prompts, write on the map, draw on the map, put your ideas on the map, put your ideas on post-it notes that we have there in, in, um, at, each, at each space, and give us your general ideas of what you all think we should focus on or what those opportunities happen to be. So with that, go. You can go to the various tables. Two in the back. Six up here. Since I've got this mic, might as well use it. Um, I really appreciate y'all's thoughtfulness, your time tonight. This has been a great exercise for us, and I can assure you that we're going to use all this information that you shared with us in both exercises to kind of build the foundation for where we go from here. That being said, um, make sure you stay connected to the Economic Development Office in the city. If you didn't sign in, please do because. We'll make sure that you know when the next time that we're going to engage you all again in, and that's charrette. So, but thank you so much. And then Linda has a couple of comments as well. Hey, I really just wanted to thank you all for coming out. And it's amazing to see that you stuck with us through the, through the night. So uh, we promised when we put that monitor up there that said shop this block, I think we had a certain expectation, but I can tell you, you exceeded our expectations tonight, and it's a wonderful feeling. That validates the fact that you care about what happens in the city, you care about what happens downtown, and we're not going to let you down. So um, stay in touch with us. Thank you for being here, and like Aaron said, please make sure that we have your contact info so we can keep you posted, because there will be next steps and more opportunities to be part of this excitement and really our uh, uh, laying the path forward for more good things to happen downtown. Thank you so much for being here.